All right, my friends, let's stretch the hand. Let's clear the head. Hail Hydra. Hydration. That is uh, three wins in a row. Slug A, uh, no, Slug B, Slug C, and Mantis B. Let's see what the next one is. Random ship. In three, two, one, and random. The Slug, I mean the Zoltan B. For a second there, I thought that was Zoltan C. Zoltan B. Okay, do we need to OMD on this ship? Because I had somebody who very specifically wanted to be... Well, it was a Zoltan C door Zoltan, so... This is Zoltan B, so that will not be that one. Okay, well, at least it's not Zoltan C, I guess, even though I should probably want to get that out of the way. Yeah, Zoltan B is not too terrible. Better than Zoltan C, worse than Zoltan A. Uh, let's see how we want to do this. Although I think I might want to do this. Because free borders on this ship is probably the biggest punish. I definitely remember runs where we had O2 go out and we had to run back and forth between Heel Bay and O2 room to do that, uh, to deal with that and probably lose half the sacrifice crew on the way. So the first hunter scrap on this ship needs to go to shields. Free crew is huge on this ship. Thinking about doing a single nebula jump. Yeah, I'll see if like this is a store. If not, we'll go this way. Although, do I even want to go to a store? This ship doesn't really start with anything to sell. But knowing where our stores are is good. Oh my god, first ship in asteroid field. Oh, Jesus. We are basically a shieldless ship with Zoltan shields to start. Okay, enter shift F S. Okay. Oh my god. Get one eye on at their weapons, maybe? Oh, okay. Come on, asteroids, help us out. Help us finish him. So I can get out of here. Good frickin' dodge. Good. Good frickin' dodge, okay. That was a shield and a door hit that was coming at me. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Ooh, a one damage first jump. Asteroid field. Okay. Frickin' hell, man. What a start. Can I have a free crew, please? Damn it. Free NG there would have been huge. That would give me power and NG blue option crew. I could have gotten a lot worse, yeah. MLG pilot. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you boarding, you are boarding, so I gotta keep my guy on doors. I hope he doesn't board in my doors. Oh, wait, he can't board until he's through the Zoltan shield anyway. I should know these things. Okay. Beautiful. Good fight. Alright, well, free repair after the one damage. Okay. Oh, so expensive to get that first shield. 100 scrap. It's easy peasy from here on out, right? No, no. The next asteroid field is going to have double offensive drones and it's going to kill me. So, not just easy. Is there any reason to... Sleeping Dragon, do you ever go to a store before you get shields on this ship? It feels like a waste. I mean, would you ever want to sell Zoltan Shield to get real shield? That doesn't seem good. Pilot Hurst heard all the jokes about Zoltan Pilots is burning with rage inside. <laughs> Alright, so you'd never really go to go to store before you get shields. I can't I can't think of a reason to. Long range scanners would be a huge debate. Even if it would allow us to avoid uh asteroid fields and stuff. Ah, seven whole scrap. Wow. The lowest possible reward we could possibly get. Yes, we got one repair into seven scrap. Okay. Okay, no boarding. We do get the resultant shield pretty quickly, at least here. 
Definitely wouldn't backtrack for the store. If you had 80 scrap and it was in a good spot, you might check for hacking. Okay. Go on, get the double hit. Good. Missile's not down. That's okay. Six fuel, four... That's almost max right there. Um, wow, six fuel is... Is that max fuel? I think it is. I don't think they can offer seven fuel. That is tempting. Oh, that is tempting. I need scrap. What's the most scrap we could get for turning this down? Four to 11 more. So max would be 19. Man, 19 scrap would be very good. I do need the shield. I really do. I think we're the follow, Mr. Last Glass. Can I have 13 fuel and... Uh, 3 fuel and 19 scrap, please. I'm greeting for it, man. I'm greeting for it. First shield is just so important. Take the fuel. Yeah, that might have been better. We'll f we're about to find out. Eight scrap becomes... 17. Okay. Alright. So that was nine extra scrap. So that was probably worth... Probably worth... To be honest, that's pretty good scrap that we just got. Yeah. Unless you're talking about the... The, the scrap value of the fuel. Problem is, even though 6 fuel is worth like 18 scrap, I cannot buy shields with fuel. And we need to buy shields. That is our only goal right now, is to buy shields. Good dodges though, man. Is it double reward? Good no shield auto scout fight with potential double reward? Yeah, for sure. Let's see, we got 8 and 13. Nice. Alright, 23 scrap from actually having freaking shields on this freaking ship. I almost forgot to OMD. OMD. Obsessively man those doors. OMD. Empty jump is empty. Empty jump is empty. Okay, this guy's gonna get through my Zoltan shield pretty quickly, but we gotta take the fight. We need the shields. Do I get through quicker with my double ion blast? If we dodge, we definitely do. Okay, we dodge. Okay, but he also dodged, so. Oh god. I need a double up. Oh, do this. One of these weapons should go offline here. They both hit. Okay. Whew, okay, that was close. Uh, actually pike beam. Okay, good. Damn it. Damn it. Here it comes. Oh the frickin' dodge. We have had some clutch clutch dodges this run, man, already. Wow, two asteroids we dodged, one which was into our shields, uh, that heavy laser into my weapons dodge, holy shnikes, four scrap shy. Four scrap short of the shields. One, two, three, four, okay, we skip a second store, because even if we... Got the store. After we get our shields, we wouldn't have enough scrap for anything. Keep this Zeltan on piloting. He's too good. <laughs> Maybe we can get him to teach our real pilot. Frickin' Emily over here. Frickin' Emily. <laughs> oh, no. That's an offensive drone guaranteed. Okay. Fire beam drone. Oh, this is the shield hack event. Wow, okay. I better prevent these rooms.
Okay, okay. Woo, okay. We're good, we're good. One Zoltan shield left. Perfectly calculated. Well, those dodges were calculated. What about frickin' Varnus over here on engines? He's helping. Frickin' Varnus and Emily, the uh, match made in heaven for Zoltan dodging. All right, we have shields. All right, do I have enough power to use the shields? Um, once I move you there, I can go like this. So yes, we barely do. So what do you like to do after shields? Um, Sleeping Dragon, is it power? Is it shield value? Is it weapon value? I'm leaning towards power than shield value is what I'm leaning towards. I think these weapons can get us through sector 2 and 3, potentially. This BS event only happens in sector 1. The shield hack? No, I don't think it does. Longs don't kill them all. Don't worry, I'm not made to crew kill anyway. I can't hit weapons and shields. No value point. Beautiful. Well, free weapon. Ooh, triple ion blast, huh? Interesting. Wow. That is interesting. We might have to go Ion plus Beam build. And do I do this or do I get this? Or maybe even this because of Dodge and Zeltan's Shield synergy. Oh no. T -t -t Triple Ion Blast. Man, maybe I want to delay... Defensive upgrade to get that third Ion Blast online. Hmm. I don't know what I should upgrade next. Let's wait till I see first jump next sector, see if there's an early store with long range scanners or a flak or something, I guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are safe from damage if I move you two into here. So this is a training ship. What can I train? I need I can train an I can train a Zultan. I can train weapons. I think the only thing I could train here is weapons because I can't have somebody on engines and piloting and make this a safe fight. So who is my weapons guy? Flashy is So we're going to go with triple ion weapon training real quick here, which will take, like, zero time. Oh, O2 crew kills, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I can just auto-fire for it here. Maybe have one of these go back and forth. Train everyone on weapons, so we have two backups. <laughs> I don't know, am I patient enough for that? Probably not. The triple ion blast build. Want a build. I'm not going to do speed up time, even though we could, because... With O2 crew kill, I'm just going to kind of go back and forth here. The weapon train is going to happen super fast. If we don't get it here, we'll get it in the next couple of jumps. And these dodges, though. Gambling doesn't pay, chat. That's all I have to say. Gambling doesn't pay. Except when it does. And then it convinces you to keep gambling until it no longer pays. I can't even move anybody to sensors to see. Wow, the dodge is the triple dodge right there.
Grabbed our DNA C, now we have triple ions. We do. We just got a free ion mark one from uh, the Let Them Return to the Settlement quest. And I was wondering, I was asking Sleeping Dragon, what do you like to upgrade next? Do you like to go shield value? Do you like to go power? Do you like to get weapon value? With the third ion blast, I'm thinking about weapon value, but I'm also thinking about power and shield value, though. Move weapons guy. Why? He's not fully trained. He needs four more shots. Save 80 scrap for hacking. I feel like one shield level is enough until sector three. Okay. Save for hacking. Okay. Hey, all right. There's a crew kill right as we got the weapons. Calculated. Perfectly calculated. Beautiful. So you like to save, huh? Okay, I did say save for early store next sector before I do anything, so. My thought was what if flak, but what if hacking is probably the real thing. We don't have protection from rock live mine, and I'm kind of mad at rocks from last run, so let's go to engine control. That rock seven was not, was the worst part of the run last run. Let's hope we can find stores with Hacking or something. Something being a flak or something. Come on, NG free stuff. A free NG would also be amazing. We need to buy fuel. A free NG for the blue options in this NG sector. I just wonder if I should buy an NG at a store if I have the option. Giant alien spiders. We could carefully cut the ship out, but we can't do giant alien spiders with no clone bay. So far, this is basically an empty sector. Three empty jumps so far. Ugh. Except they're off for free stuff. So I have to sell an Ion Blast to get hacking. Would that be worth? Probably would be. NG crew. No hacking. Second store. Oh man, I'm looking at an NG because NG is not only NG blue options, it's also extra power because it gets our really good pilot off of piloting to give us power. Backup battery is nice too. Can't kill ships with an NG. I know. I still really want it. If I get a single blue option in this NG sector, it will pay for itself. That's my justification, and I know probably not a good enough justification. If no hacking, you'd fall back on shields, foreign weapons. We have a second chance of hacking here. Oh, I think I'm gonna hold off. Man, I really wanna buy an NG. I hope I don't have an immediate immediate distress that would get me blue option for NG. If it does, I'm gonna feel really bad. Uh smoldering NG research station. Is this the save yourself? Save the NG. Smoldering NG. I think this is the save yourself one. FTL Smoldering NG Research Station. Save the NG, save the drone schematic, save yourselves. So Clone Bay, I could do save the NG. Okay, we do this and then we just save yourselves. Ah, oh, we didn't even get the opportunity for that. Damn it. Jesus. I've gotten zero scrap the last six jumps or so. Jesus Christ, come on, game. All right, I'm going to get shields, I think. Man, there could be a third NG store, couldn't there? 
the NG sector is so showing when NGs are when NG sectors are bad. Okay, that's good. I now can afford hacking. Let's do one more jump. See if we see a store with hacking. If not, we get second shield, I think. <laughs> Two ships in a row wanting my missiles. Alright, um... Do I want that, or do I want... That. Against two shield ships, I'd rather have the weapon upgrade. I'm leaning towards the weapon upgrade here. Because we're about to go into Sector 3. And two shield ships, potentially. I think shield is smarter. It's more defensive. With Zultan shield, I feel like offense is better. I'm going to go offense. Zoltan Shield can save us from fights while our Ion Blasts can... Oh, results-based analysis says I should have gotten shields. Okay. <laughs> See how well this does. Come on, Triple Ion, get that first laser offline, please. Still have enough for backup battery? Was there a backup battery at that store I could have gotten? Okay. Good fight, good fight. Zero damage because Zoltan Shield OP and apparently triple high on Blast Mark 1 OP as well. Okay. Zone B can beat the game with no extra offense at all. Double drones in Sector 3 can kill you. Okay. That sounds very optimistic, but okay. I am going to do that still, though. Emily dodging everything this run, including beacons with scrap this sector. <laughs> Holy free halberd beam. Holy shnikes. Uh... Is Double Ion Blast Halberd Beam better than Triple Ion Blast Pike Beam? This is one second longer charge. Holy shnikes, that's nice. That maybe makes up for the crappy sector we just had. You're about to say weak energy sector, but yeah, I know. Free Halberd Beam at Exit Beacon is hard to turn down. I think two ions, Halberd. I think it do damage to one shield. I mean, the counter argument to that is that three ions are more likely to get through that one. Are more likely to get through that shield, right? Keep that shield down. I actually don't know which is better. You did that in one try. Beating the boss with the starting weapon build? Jeez, you're, you are a crazy man, Mike. Ah, 12 fuel for an uncharted nebula with no long-range scanners, or a pirate with potential force to abandon four afterwards. You can get hackier this run would be very fast. Hack two on shields. Plus the beams will just obliterate everything till late. True. You had no hacking either on your build? You're crazy, Mike. I don't know how you won with that. You must have a crazy cloaking four shields something build to win against the boss with two ion blast ones how did you get through sector one cloaking hacking cycle with that build i i don't understand you was did you have boarding you had to have boarding to do that i'm gonna go nebula because i don't see how you get through four shields with two ion blasts with cloaking on the enemy ship i just don't see how that's even possible unless you're boarding and taking out their crew It does have a teleporter. How did how did you get how did you kill phase one of the boss? How did you get through four shields with only two ions? I'm I'm genuinely curious. 
how that how that math works out. Because I don't think you'd lie about something like that, but I I honestly can't think of how you can get through four shields with two Ion Blast Mark 1s with cloaking. Slowly. I mean... Okay. All right. I guess that's the answer I'm going to get. Slowly. I guess two Ions. I, I, I just I don't understand how that happens. Okay, we might have safe fights if... Yeah. You hold their shot, your shots until after they decloak. So, okay, okay, I can see that. So when their cloak's about to come up, you... Wow, these weapons. You don't fire so that the ions are back up in time. As soon as the cloak wears off is what I think I'm hearing, what I'm understanding. Yeah, how didn't you die in that time? That's a great question. I assume your defenses were insane. Get it seven times in 20 seconds, get the shield down. It's unlikely, but possible. Okay. That's insane. You must roll a lot of crits in d and I'm sure it wasn't just luck. I'm sure it was a lot of patience. Because Mike Copley is known for doing ridiculous th stuff in FTL, so. Let's get one more power. Now I'm going to save for hacking. I've been a little high on the spending, but I really, I really wanted to get shields up without having to turn off my offense. God, this is going to be an offensive drone, isn't it? Fucking Rebel Disruptor. Damn it. Okay, at least it's not a defense 2 drone. Oh, thank God. Missile down. Well done. Holy, that's a great deal. Beautiful. That's like a 50-something scrap deal or so. Very nice. Getting it first try, having to hit seven times in 20 seconds sounds really nuts for RNG. But he didn't say he did it first try. He said it was a lot of patience. But I'm guessing it was an hour to two hour long phase one to do that, is my guess. You're mostly interested in the viability of defense play up to Sector 5. We just decided to carry on to the flagship anyway. You are a very patient player, Mike. Par163, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. You love my YouTube videos? You didn't know I was having issues with Twitch? I'm not having issues with Twitch. It's more like... I'm trying to become a partner on Twitch, and Twitch... won't let me be a partner, even though I've done everything I'm supposed to be as a partner going by their uh, requirements. So. I mean, I guess you could say that's having issues with Twitch. I'm not really having issues. I'm just sadly, wow, this weapon system. Sadly not getting the promotion at my job that I would like to get. That almost wrong. This is my job, and my manager keeps telling me I need to hit goals. I hit those goals, then my manager says you haven't hit your goals yet. Or you haven't hit enough of your goals. And so I ask, what are my goals? And the manager says, you're hitting your goals. You're hitting them. Just need to keep hitting them. Hit them harder. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Twitch manager. Thanks. There's a hidden requirement at Twitch where you have to praise missiles regularly and purchase more chain ions than flax. <laughs> and I don't know how to do those things. What's up, uh, Salami? I'm doing pretty well. Same response. Yeah, it was verbatim the same response. It was the same canned email response of, you're doing a great job. You're on the right track. Keep doing what you're doing. We're not ready to give you a partnership yet. Because we're interested to see how your channel grows, blah, 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 shenanigans and useless, useless jargon that tells me nothing about what I actually need to do. My FTL hot takes are too much for them. So, I guess so. 
Thank you for the follow, Ultimate Bronze Noob. <laughs> Great name. Um. Uh, recently found my YouTube videos. Here's the support for the partnership. I really appreciate that. Holy double rewards. These are some good rewards we're getting. All right, store. Please have hacking. A-holes. <laughs> well, I'm not going to call them that. They're just, you know, normal, greedy corporate stuff is what it is. what I read into it. Uh, hear me out. Salami better than ham. Well, since I don't like ham, yes, I like ham. Uh, I like salami better than ham. I also like sausage better than bacon, which is a pretty hot take, apparently, in this world. Thank you for the gifted sub, uh, Bilbo. That is the wrong systems. But I'm thinking I get mind control for the anti-boarding. And it leaves me enough for hacking still. We have some interesting weapon choices here. Double halberd beam. Hmm. Sausage is better, you agree? Nice. If only they were hacking here, could get a second halberd, go beam again. <laughs> Double halberd pike beam build. Eh. Kind of looking at the burst laser one. Uh, you know what's cheap, though? Selling pike beam, just go triple ion halberd and just keep going with this. That's the cheapest. Is that what I want to keep doing? Where fire beam, not here. Reloader with fast firing ion blast, is that worth? I mean, it does make halberd beam 10% faster. What about what about just selling pike beam, pike beam going automated reloader, keeping this build? Triple Ion Halberd seems to be working out. I would say the downside to this is Defense 2 Drones. Honestly, I think the play might be sell Pike, 1 Ion Blast, and get Burst Laser 1. How much would that cost me? Put me at 56. Gain 15. 56 plus 15 is 66. 71. 91, 99. I'd be at 99 scrap if I did that. You'd want to keep the pike in case of hacking at a later store. Well, I'm thinking about selling the pike if I get the burst laser. Because then I'd have the option to go to not be relying on ions. I don't know, man. I don't know if I need to do anything. Maybe I just do nothing. All beams is awkward on no pause. Yeah, that's the main reason I don't like it. Or don't lean towards multi-beam builds. The thing is, any change I make here is more expensive than changing nothing. So, <laughs> Sector 3, I got time for Defense 2 as a threat. Uh, I disagree, King Jack. You can have Defense dro 2 drones in Sector 2 NG. Which you could have two shield ships with a Defense 2 drone Sector 2 if you're in an NG sector. They can absolutely appear this early but i'm not gonna play around that i know thanks ftl yeah okay Ooh, those are some weapons I'm not saying it's likely we'll run into it, but saying it's not a threat is a little optimistic for FTL. I'll, throw, I'll show you what's not a threat is what FTL would say in response to saying that something's not a threat. I mean, that's a nice free weapon. To be honest, you love multi-beam builds on no pause. It's much more macro demanding. Macro demanding? I, you mean micro demanding? My issue with it is the micro, is aiming your beams in a quick enough time in your hacking window. You meant micro, okay. 
Ah, oh, man. I'm trying to decide if I do this while keeping enough for hacking or if I do another weapon upgrade. I've seen one Nebula store. Three, four. I can't see another store here. I think then. So I'm looking at... I like dodge and power for... Zoltan Shield ships. The more you dodge, the longer your Zoltan Shield stays up. Now, something fun about swiping the three beams in a row? Yeah, I guess if you get good at it, maybe that's my issue. I just haven't, I'm, I haven't gotten good at it yet. I haven't practiced it enough, probably. The third ion online, so I don't die. Um. Big surprise! He dodged just enough for me to do zero fucking damage. I don't know that I'll die if I don't get the third ion online. I, 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 basically, I want to see if there's a store, an early store next sector before I spend scrap on weapons again. That's what I want to check. If there's an early store next sector with hacking, we're buying that. Sector two, two shields is fairly rare. Sector three, it's less rare. So I, I will want to get a sector three if I don't have a store with hacking in it. Right, at least these aren't empty chumps. This is a very strong weapon system, though. If you have hacking a full beam build, is one of the strongest things you can go for. Ooh, did I get it up in time? Okay, alright, well, he didn't, he didn't max his shots there. Well, yeah, I mean, I think beam builds are the only builds that can one shot the boss, so I don't disagree. It's just. The micro is difficult. You love the background salt when a dodge happens or a missile hits? <laughs> yeah. You can thank RPG Nerdos for that mod. Usually all beams with just hacking is dicey because beams are slow, need to shield hack, but we have Zoltan shield. Okay, let's see here. Do I do I get one more jump and then have a nebula dive? I don't I don't trust a dive. Do I? It's a nebula dive. If I knew there was a ship fight, I'd take it. But I had enough scrap. I don't want to. I don't want a chance of dying to. Excuse me. I like black one, heavy laser one dive ship, and that was definitely a dive. Oh, these choices, man. Yeah, it seems not worth it for one maybe extra scrap gain. Ugh. I have mind control for Zoltan Border Police. And also Mantis boarding. Ugh, these are two of the worst. Full health, go for the dive? No thanks. Halberd, Pike, and Hull are your fa top three favorite weapons. All right. Zoltan Homeworlds is your favorite, huh? And Zoltan Border Police are scary. Uh, but are five Mantis boarding events scarier than Zoltan Border Police? My control doesn't counter energy bombers. We do get the Zoltan shields pretty quickly if I get my ion shield upgrade. You know Zoltan homeworlds would yield Zoltan shield because we already have one too, yeah. And you only get, I think, 25 scrap from it too, don't you? Isn't even as much as it sells for. Yeah, there are two green sector possibilities after Zoltan homeworlds. That's the only reason I'm kind of debating this. Because uh, these two sectors are definitely better than our lower green sector chances, I guess. Although if we went to this one, there's a potential we have force abandoned. Sultan uh, 4 might be the scariest sector in the game after, like, abandoned 7. Okay, can I have hacking, please? I've ever played Renowned Explorers. Looks a lot like a wind and wilting blossom. Think it's up my alley. I have not played it. If you want me to check it out, uh, send me a whisper on Twitch with the link to the Steam site. Damn it, no hacking. Ah, damn it, no hacking. All right. Renowned Explorers is okay. Sleeping Dragon says you played it years ago. 
Why is abandoned so scary? There is a ship type called Lanius Bomber ships, which are the scariest ships in the game, potentially. But we have to do this upgrade, I think. Thinking about an, uh, thinking about a crew here to free up my Zoltan. Venting is not necessarily good on this ship, right? You worry with either sector choice. Yeah, the, it's the boarding events that are scary on both ones. I think I'm going to buy an NG because I think I'm pretty desperate for extra crew right now. And that's going to free up you. Gives me power. Still going to have it be like this so I can go like this. I feel like I just need an extra crew against potential Lanius, uh, Zelt, and uh, whatever. Sell the pike beam for more power. My uh, slug pilot was an option, but I'm buying crew more for the blue options than I am for that right now. I have I'm basically relying on manning doors and mind control to deal with the boarding shenanigans. Don't sell pike. I know you like your beams. I'm wondering if I need a door upgrade to deal with stuff. Two nebula jumps does get us an extra jump, but it is Zoltan nebulas, so... I'm gonna go to Distress and hope we get some NG blue options here. Man, I don't know. I'm sketched out about this sector. That's some nice free stuff, at least. Give into your anger, sell the pike. Well, the problem is I only wanted to sell the pike in order to get some upgrades, and I don't know if I'm going to be getting any upgrades with it, so might as well not sell it. Yeah, I was afraid of this. Your friends. Oh, God. Oh, God. Three shield ship pirate disruptor. Go after yourself, FDL. Can the drone please go offline? Nope. They still on my ship? They're in my sensors that I can't vent. Okay, my sensors are just dead. Just ignore that. It's fine. Ooh, what a freaking fight that was. First fight, Sector 4 Zoltan was a pirate disruptor with free borders with hacking, a combat drone, and a missile. Go F yourself. Thank you for the double reward, but also go F yourself. Jesus, what a freaking first fight that was. That is some bull shenanigans is what that is. I can't see my crew's health because of the damn combat drone in the way. That's a nasty Sector 4 high roll ship. No effing kidding. It's high rolly. Jesus, freaking Zoltan Sector 4s, man. <laughs> I know. I was hoping for stiff, stiff dough. What we got was free borders plus a combat two drone missile and hacking. Jesus. The fact that we only took five damage there is kind of a miracle. Don't forget the three shields. Yeah, they also had three shields, yeah. Okay. Two one jumped in the store, hope for hacking. They're in my sensors. Fucking free human boarders. Get the F off my ship, you shitty, shitty humans who didn't bring snacks. Goddamn free sensor hack made it, so I almost took damage there before I could mind control it, too. Yeah, come in here. I'll kill you in here. Why didn't they come in here? <laughs> God damn it, I hate Zoltan sectors. Every little bad thing just reinforces my fear and hatred of this sector type. Free borders with no stuff. Jesus. 
Jesus, was that five stores in a row with no hacking? Get the backup battery. Or the ion blast. We could go all ion blast. We could get a pole beam. We could go with our halberd and pike beam. <sighs> I probably wouldn't even go for it even if I had hacking aquatic potato. It's just too micro intensive. And our offense is not our issue right now. Our defense is our issue. We are safe from damage if I put two Zeltons in shields, right? Yes. Safe fight. So we should train our dodges. We should train our NG on dodges, is that correct? Yes, and I can cross train on engines. Yes. The ultimate battle of ions versus ions. Okay. Is this safe? I just want to make sure I'm not crazy. This is safe, right? And I can't cross train on weapons because then I wouldn't be able to have the engine guy. So this works. Okay. Looks safe. Let's get our NG pilot trained. Even though we'll probably swap him for another pilot eventually. But for now, it's worth doing. Funny thing is, this ship might have Zoltans on it, so it's a pirate ship in a Zoltan sector. Could probably, like, speed hack try to O2 crew kill this. I wonder if that would work. Let me see. Let me just turn this on. See what happens. Cacophony of ions and beams. You once accidentally made it impossible for your ions and drones build to damage your Zeltan ship because you were hitting them with an ion stunner, which meant you kept stunning the two Zeltans that were fixing shields. And I don't think this is gonna work. Alright. Well, we tried. It was an interesting attempt. Mind you, a Balloons TD speed up. Six, uh, Balloons TD 6 speed up? Yeah. <laughs> It's true. I'm not gonna move my crew around here. Just make sure we stay safe here. Um, do I have sensors? I do. I might control this guy. Do we have a crew kill with this? Got a heal bay. I'm thinking probably not. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. I did a fake attempt at a crew kill. Nope. Crew killing there was probably worth going for, to be honest. Hey! Hey! Hacking and a flak! Okay, here's the store we've been looking for all our lives. I thought you saw all the doors opening and closing, running to heal bay. Question mark. Okay. Alright, um... We always do this. I want that flak, man. I want that flak. I feel like the flak might be a jubate, but I think I'm still going to sell a pike. Well, actually, I can sell only pike beam and get it. But if I do that, I might as well sell pike beam when I blast to get it. Now I don't have to hack shields to kill... Kill mine enemies. Uh, if I sell an ion blast, can I get hacking two up? I don't think so, right? Sells for what, like 15? Yeah, not quite. Well, I can never use that third one anyway. If I sell this one, I could get hack two. No, I'd be at 32. I'd be three scraps short. Okay. Do I keep the Ion Blast? Do I ever think I get the other Ion Blast online? Oh, uh, man, I am unsure. I am unsure. Two ion, flak one, have halberd beam. Could it be 90 to get it online? Might as well keep it. 
I feel like I'm never going to use it. I guess if we find zero other weapons for the rest of the run, that'd be the only time I actually use it. All right. Just in time for the Defense 2 drone, we get the flak. To not be relying on our ions here. Yeah, that was a bad swipe. Um, ba -ba -bum -bum. Hmm. Nice. Man, I love Flak Halberd Beam. It's gotta be one of my favorite builds. Oh my, free long range scanners, Batman. <laughs> wow, we got a free Halberd Beam. And we got a free long range scanners this run. That is. That is the nice boulder. I like that boulder. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Chef's kiss. Mwah! Gotta love it, man. Uh, let's get that level two hack. I'm gonna protect this potentially from missile ships or something. Yeah, really good dodges that fight too. Yeah. Make the guards believe they've already checked you. Thanks for the free fuel. Two, three, four. I think I do want the ship lights over anything else. Free long range scanner beam. <laughs> oh, hear them out. I completely forgot we were in the sector for that. <laughs> All right, great. Just, I, you know, usually for a sector like this, you want to forget about that because if you're going for ship fights, that's better than just looking for a Zoltan Shield quest that you may never get. Yeah, he's got some sort of onboard drone I heard online. But uh, how nice. How nice. Zero dodges for us there. Okay. Okay. We're fairly safe, though. I uh, an intruder drone. Okay. Not to my weapons. It's fine. It's fine. Kill the drone, please. And by kill the drone, I mean kill the ship. We need an envoy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn down an envoy. A long-range scanner is, I mean, a Zoltan shield would be really kind of not that great. Although I think it comes with a high reward too, so or some other kind of scrap reward. But uh, was it twenty-five scrap we get from breaking down an augment you already have? Probably not the highest value. I wonder if it would be worth. Oh, here's a uh, Zoltan board, please. I wonder if it would be worth selling the Zoltan Shield before the quest in case we get Zoltan Shield to get the 15 extra scrap out of it. Probably not worth, but... Let's go in here. Oh man, this is scary, this is scary. Just depower this crap. Okay, uh, oh my god, he ha hacked that. I need to hack his weapons. Stop hitting my shit, please. Kill these guys. I don't have power. Who's dying? Okay, uh, this is effing scary. I need my shields, but my shit's broken. My hacking's down. What a fucking shitty fight. All right, we got through it. F you, FTL, and your bullshit. What was that? Five, four or five free Zoltan borders plus burst laser mark three plus chain laser plus two shields plus did he hack us? I don't even know. Whatever it was, it was bullshit, but we survived it. Jesus Christ. Honestly, Burst Laser 3 is probably one of the weaker weapons they could have had. Apart from just like like a single heavy laser or something. He did hack my shield, you're right. Yeah. Goddamn cheating ass Sultan Border Police. Go get out of my game, please. Ah. <sighs> 
Uh, yeah, four free borders, shield hack, seven shots. That's why Zoltan sectors are the worst green sectors in the game you can choose. That effing event right there. Yeah, streak is still on, Battle Corp. The fact that I didn't lose crew and only took freaking 12 damage or some crap is as good as I can hope for there. I could have microed it better, but my power was all over the place because my Zoltans were all over the place because I had to fucking run away from Zoltans with my Zoltans, which unpowered all of my shit. So, the stupid fight event that is. If one shot hit our mid bay, we were ripped. Yes, I know. I know. Because bullshit fight is bullshit. Maybe the second or third most bullshit event in the game is Zoltan Shield, uh, Zoltan Border Police. If I had one more crew so I could use my mind control offensively, just upgrade my sensors or something. I'm gonna move here. Wow, a pilot trained slug. That is tempting. Zoltan Border should give you power. Did I get the Zoltan Shield quest? We actually did, Grand Moth Tarkin. That was like a rough, rough fight. Hope it goes better from now on. Thanks, Metal Core. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that because that, that also frees up my NG to be a silly device. And uh, I can move him to sensors to use for mind control offense. And I can sell an Ion Blast for hacking still. Alright, let's go, NG. You want to be the slug, please, huh? Alright, I don't think I have any specific slug pilots. I haven't got caught up with YouTube, so sure thing. Your name is Larry Serial. Best crew they could have offered? Um... I think Rock might be slightly better because of blue options, but yeah, it's pretty good, darn good. There's a store right before the quest. All right. 50-50 quest is Envoy or Zoltan Shield. If we go to the store and sell Zoltan Shield, we'll get 40 scrap for it. And then if we go to the quest and get Zoltan Shield back, we will have gained 15 scrap. If I go to the quest with my Zoltan Shield still in my inventory i will only get 25 scrap for it do we sell our zoltan shield for the chance at more 15 15 more scrap feel like it's not worth terrible idea you know you never know if you don't try all right everybody's saying no keep it keep the shield too risky yeah i agree i was just laying it out there Actually, they already deals with that war. True proximity will be achieved without bloodshed. And, okay. Actually, actually paid off. Amazing. Envoy, you are my shield. Envoy. I honestly can't believe we didn't get... I was I was just expecting to get Zoltan's shield because it's the trolliest thing the game could have done there. Do I trust FTL RNG? No, I don't. Uh, somebody asked to be... Somebody asked to be a Zoltan. Uh, can I be the engine Zoltan drinking deuterium? Okay. Was that Emily? No, that was... Wow, you're cross-trained. I don't even know who it is. Varnus. Okay. Drinking deuterium. Uh, I don't do deuter. Deuterum. I don't know. I can't spell it. Your name's too long. There you go. You swear it's 8020 Envoy for Shields anyways. You never get it. That is that thing I can't remember. That is confirmation bias. It's not true. It's a, it's a real 50-50. I pressed something that made that smaller. There we go. Heavy laser is very good. Hmm. 
just deuterium. All right, all right. D E U T E R I U M. There we go. I'm looking at the heavy laser, and I think I'm buying the heavy laser. What else did I want to do? We need cloaking eventually. Wrong flak, yeah. Okay, all right. You're being a little backseaty, Aqua Potato. Uh, if you could phrase your suggestions in the form of a question, like, do you think we should get Heavy Laser 1? That would be much less pushy than just saying, do this! Do this! So, please, if you can be a little more respectful. I'd appreciate not yelling at me to do something every time you see something you'd like me to do. Uh, I can now use my mind control offensively without my level 2 sensors being needing to be used, so that's nice. Okay. Hmm. I think we've done too much damage to actually crew kill this. But maybe if I'm patient. It's fine, it's fine. So I'm not like banning you or timing you out, I'm just saying. There's. Twitch etiquette is usually if you form your backseating in a form of a question, it's more likely to get a positive response from a streamer. Alright, how do I do this? If I do this, will you fight? I need them to be below 30 and kill them with a heavy laser. I think I'm gonna have to wait one more time, aren't I? Oh, I don't want his weapons to be L9. Okay, I think I think we can do this. I just have to trust in my dodges to not take damage when his weapons are all back online. Could we name human Grima prior to venting? Uh yeah, probably. Okay, once they're below 30. That should do it. Beautiful! We got it! Alright, we got the crew kill. Our patience paid off. Um, although there is somebody on YouTube who very specifically wanted to me name wanted me to name a vented human after a random name, so I'll probably be doing that for the next vented human. Alright, so cloaking is our next is our next goal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't get all of our jumps because of the crappy layout, but do I have long range scanners? I do, don't I? But this is an it's an NG sector, so I'm just gonna get the efficient jumps and hope we get something and enough to sell at a store for cloaking. Something and enough to sell. Yes, that's great English I just used. Someone should specifically request a crystal bot from a crystal sector. Oh, oh, that's enough to buy cloaking. That is enough to buy cloaking. Nobody tell Julian Verse I'm about to sell that. I'm about to sell that for cloaking. Although, one, two, three, if that's a store. Actually, I know it's not a store. Okay. What's the most fun run I've ever done? I don't know. I have so many runs. If I had to choose one, I'd go with the first time I did a flackening. Which is four flak ones, advanced laser, uh, three automated reloaders. This was on a Fed C ship to go full flackening, so it was even full flak artillery, which is not something I usually enjoy. But we went full flackening, and it was amazing. Uh, there's no cloakening here, is there? No cloakening to go with our flackening that we don't have. We know that that's not a store, so only other chance of store is there. So I'm gonna buy all the fuel. I mean, I feel like I'm more likely to use a chain laser than a single ion blast mark one, so I'm going to keep it on my... Well, ion has some blue options, but are all the ion blue options the same as NG blue options? I think they might be. I'm just going to do that. I feel like I'm more likely to use chain laser than ion blast mark one. I love the flack in the YouTube video. I don't even remember if the run itself was that fun, but 
I love flax, so that's... That's that's just any time I have a bunch of flax, can auto-fire and watch trash kill my enemies. It's a good time. Alright, that is improved attack and gets us an augment, repair, and reactor. That is very nice. Something else to sell at the store. There's only one ion blue option, and it is covered by NG. Okay, that's what I thought, but I wasn't 100% sure on that. You don't know if that's better than Halberd. One heavy laser and a chain, but it does cost one less power. Talking about the ion? Yeah, that's the only thing I'd take that over this, because the less power cost. This would put me at 9 fuel, 1 missile, 15 drone parts. Yeah, it's power I don't have to spend scrap on. It saves me 25 scrap. I'll take it. You know, it puts my fuel a little bit low. Rebel or Zoltan? Ugh, what are with these terrible choices? I don't want either of those. At least give it a Rebel Stronghold if going to make me go on the Rebel. Oh, I don't want to deal with Zoltan Border Police again. But Rebel Controlled could be double offensive drones. I guess I can get my third shield for that potential. Force Nebula is not that bad, Aqua Potato. Slug Nebula 7 I often choose because of the potential scrap gains. I'm more... It's more about the ships I'm going to encounter in this Sector 6 that I'm worried about. And we also have Long Range Scanners, which makes Nebula even more appetizing. Hmm. Rebel. If I don't see an instant store, I'm going to get third shield. Okay. I hope I don't see a store right there after getting my third shield. I'm doing this for the potential um, auto assault ships with double offensive drones, missiles, and hacking. That's why I'm doing this. I'm going to swap my weapons around so that. Oh, that puts the flak in the back, which slows down it getting over there. I guess I'm going to do that. You really hate Uncharted? With long range scanners, I kind of like Uncharted. Alright, we're gonna hack. Yeah, this is guaranteed we get the crew and a quest marker if it shows you the crew. We're gonna hack your weapons. And I'm gonna trust in my flak heavy later again through shields. Especially with hacking his, uh, my controlling his pilot. Yeah, that's pretty good freaking doges though. Nice. Good fight. So this is going to be, what is it? Something about, he share, tells you where there's a huge cache you get there. It's not as big as he said it was, giggity. Business up front, party in the flak. <laughs> well said, Jiggity Jig Uh Business up front, party in the flak. It's the mullet flak, huh? Cloaking with a missile, my favorite. Or at least doesn't have offensive drones to go with it. Alright, we're gonna hack his piloting here. I think we can guarantee get his missile down. Has anyone ever modded a circular laser? I don't know what a circular laser means. Oh man. I think the missile fires before my stuff finishes, doesn't it? Yeah, damn it, as quick as I could. Alright, good dodges, though. Good freaking dodges. Yeah, I don't know what circular laser... Do you, like Uncle Potato says, are you talking about a laser that is shaped like an ion? Something that swipes in a circle. For a laser? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Uh, so if we do this, we get a free extra jump, right? Yeah. And a map. Okay. Ion laser would be a cool weapon idea. There are plenty of those. I've definitely used ion lasers 
in mods. I think we even had one. Um, okay, so we need cloaking. So two stores for chance of cloaking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if we get that in seven. Um, we even had an, a laser that did ion damage on Monday when we played viewer created ships. So ion lasers is definitely something we've had. All right, we better. Okay, we have the. I want double I You know what? I want to have guaranteed four shields at all times here. It's wrong. You're supposed to be in there. Double ions in asteroid field. We need to do this. Jesus, we're getting no effing dodges. Give me a break, game. Did he hack my piloting or something? No, I don't know. We're just getting unlucky with our dodges, apparently. Frickin' double ion in an asteroid field with cloaking and chain and laser. What a build. Okay, he's dead. Okay, only two damage there, I think. Let's move our dudes around as our power gets all screwed up by Zoltans moving around. Okay. Ah, uh, bendy laser. I don't know what a bendy laser would look like. Kentstone probably means a beam that has a path like a circle instead of a line. I'm pretty sure that's not possible to program in FTL. You meant in base game. Oh, okay. Um, I did only have 50, 15% dodge. Okay. Alright, so we can only get one store. There's no way we can get both, so... Um, that connects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like our path here. Can't do it with that attitude. All right. All right, I'll try to improve my attitude. Somebody can try to program something that doesn't exist using a better attitude than me. <laughs> we are almost immune to damage here, but not quite. Let's see if your attitude can change FTL's programming. I know the hyperspace space devs can do it. I certainly don't have the ability to do something like that. Do that. Okay, 245 scrap. Please have, well, I have one quest before the story. I think this is a free weapon at this quest. I think. It's the uh, Hidden Federation base. No, just this. Uh, horde was not as large as advertised. Giggity, giggity, goo. What do you know? A human male lying about the size of something. Who would have thought? All right, I guess I'm getting a little dirty here, but come on, game. Come on. Freaking 23 scrap reward. I think all FTL ships should be replaced with shieldless auto scouts. Okay. Uh, let's see. On to a different question. Did I see some of PoE2's gameplay footage? Yeah, I watched. I watched a YouTuber reviewing the um, the Druid shape shifting. It looks really cool. I don't really like shape shifting, but or like playing characters like that. But it looks amazing. All right, there's a firebomb for crew killing phase one. Do we want to buy it? Crew Killing Phase 1 is really good. We're going to buy it. Do I keep the Chain Laser or not? I only have three missiles, so we're going to have to... Oh, I had that to sell. I almost forgot. Um, what I'll do is swap Fire Beam for Chain Laser Phase 1 and... for Crew Killing shenanigans. If we get that online. We need level 3 hacking. We need... Lots of power. We need. We need a lot of upgrades still, but we're looking fairly strong here. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Should I just go, should I go to the empty jumps or should I just go one, two, three, four, five since it's three guaranteed jumps? It's potentially more scrap if, if I think if either, even one of these is a ship fight, it's better to go one, two, three, four, five. It's two extra jumps, I think. Our son is best son. <laughs> Pretty good meme. Is that a pun? I don't know. Even if it's a pun, I'm laughing. All right. Uh, we should be able to pull. 
pilot with hacking and this shot. Purposely not going to shoot piloting and not going to mind control the pilot. Do that guarantees he doesn't run. Can you get intimidate settlers in sector six and seven? I think I think I think any civilian sector one event you can get in sector six or seven. I don't I don't think there's any unique sector one civilian sector events, but I could be wrong about that. If my copley or sleeping dragon is still around, they they might know. But I think any civilian sector event you can get in sector one, you can get in later sectors. But that is that is a bit of a I'm definitely not 100% on that statement. What's your reactor level? Because even with 4 Zultans, you still kind of low on power. It's fairly low. I do need spin scrap on reactor. I was saving up for cloaking for the longest time. For the longest time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My NG is a silly device. Thank you for that reminder. I'll try to do that after this jump. Okay. Damn it! I hit N instead of B! I did it again! I swear I do this so effing often. Oh my god, the fucking dodges. Go after yourself, FTL. Don't you let this guy get out. What are these fucking dodges? That was my entire fucking flak volley there. Pull the pilot. Pull the pilot. Pull the goddamn... Oh my god. He's gonna get out. These fucking dodges. Give me a break. I almost, I almost was forced to dive with those effing dodges. Jesus Christ. B is battery. N is hacking. And I hit B to turn my battery to power my hacking. And I effing screwed it up, man. God damn it, I do that too often, man. Alright, it's fine. We're happy and not negative around here. Everything is peach keen. It's fine. Freaking running away douchebags, though. I forgot to do Silly Device because of my rage. I'm going to save the drone part here. I'm low on fuel. Not really drone parts, but... You don't know any micro. All he uses is N, C, and 1, 2, 3, 4. You play no pause, Aqua Potato? Because you're talking about loving beam builds. And that's the hardest part about beam builds is the micro and hotkeys used in hard mode no pause. Alright, silly device. That's what I need to do. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Is that the Lego movie song? I think that is. No, we don't want to dive. Gonna get the hack three power. Fun is blessed. Blessed is with thy silly deviceness. Reminds you of Homer in the Shining episode. Okay. That's a lot of lasers. Arise, silly device, arise. Well, my mind control is a useless system here, except to counter his mind control, so. Uh, when you play hard mode no pause, you only play with the best ships because your micro's not good. Oh, okay. It is very hard. But the fact that you play hard mode no pause at all is pretty impressive. Woo, what a triple reward. Augment to sell and double scrap gainage. Very nice. Could die for an extra jump. I'm low on fuel. I don't want to do that. I think that's... Well, okay, it's not the worst of the two choices, because red could have been abandoned, which would have been worse. The worst. But no rebel stronghold and no slug for extra scrap gains. I guess I'm going uncharted since I have long-range scanners. When you play hard mode no pause, you lose. Me too. <laughs> I can't do it 28 times in a row, sadly. 
because it's hard. I'm trying to say when longer scanners can be lucrative. Let's hope it is. Attack. That is the goal here, to have a very lucrative for seven. Um, I'm going to try to not do max damage, but do this so potentially crew kill. Preparing his heal bay. Hmm. Yeah, the missile's backed up. Screw it. Oh my god. This damn missile will not stay offline. Alright, we have cloaking. It's fine. And I still have Zoltan Shield, actually. I was... I'm, I'm so not used to having Zoltan Shield, I honestly completely forgot that I still had that. Alright, half power... I don't really need a store anymore, but we would like a store to sell the emergency respirators. Uh, if there, if that is manly search, I want that. I think there can be manly search in Uncharted Nebula. Hard no pause cycle is very, very difficult. Yes, there's a reason only. What is it? Seven people in the world have done it. There is a reason. Poke it. So I should probably give myself more slack, but I can't give myself slack because I'm a salty, salty person when I lose it. Things. A lot of pew pew. What a symmetrical build. It's so symmetrical. Symmetrical is the most important build type, according to this guy right here. And his symmetrical build will get him killed. Build will get him killed. I'm a poet. Didn't know it. That's the flagship power surge. Yeah, that's right. Need the good RNG and all the bad ships. Well, it would help to get the cycle to get good RNG and all the bad ships. You don't need it. You need to be able to play well enough through the bad RNG and not get such bad RNG that it's not uncounterable, I guess, might be one way to say it. Okay, this is looking very lucrative here. This is the, that's the best looking auto scout you've seen. Okay. Alright, four shields, running away. Half level three crack. Four shields with a fifth shield value point. Because, you know, that's fair. Good job, Neo. Good dodge. Damn, didn't get the missile offline, but at least the piloting's down. Can you be the new human? Alright, one second, Battle Corp. Yes! Missile down. Beautiful. Not sure if there's a fire in there. We're good. Okay, the new human. There you go. That is you most likely to be vented. I'm sure I probably missed a request for Grima, so I'm just going to go ahead and get Grima here, too. Okay. 77 scraps. So what's our goal? Weapon upgrades is our goal. Checking store to see if there's a flak instead of the chain laser or heavy laser 2 or something. Okay. That is a really strong weapon system you have there, sir. Control that. We don't need to cloak the missile with fires for the other weapons. It barely does. We dodge it anyway. Very nice. Good fight. 
Okay, well, that's a two-power weapon that I will definitely be selling at a store. I did miss you asking. All right. Ran, when I get the 28 streak, will I do a song request stream to celebrate? I'll probably do something to celebrate, but I'm not going to do something that's going to get me DCA muted, so. <laughs> Although we could maybe do a karaoke stream. That'll get DMCA'd. But if that's what you mean, like a karaoke thing, sure. But if I if you mean stream while playing music in the background, no, because that just gets me DMCA striked. And that is no fun. I will do a hot tub stream. I did not agree to that. Even if I sing the songs. If I sing the songs, we do like a Twitch Sings thing. Sure, we could do that. That could be a fun celebration. Two hot tub streams will get me partner quickly. I don't know who you think wants to see me in a hot tub. But I'm pretty sure that's not what gets me to partner, no matter how many times people keep saying it. <laughs> I am not an attractive woman. So I don't think... Hot tub streams are gonna draw the audience. And even if I were an attractive woman, woman's woman, I'm pretty sure the people who would come hang out in a hot tub stream are not the people I would want to stream for. No offense if you like hanging out in the hot tub streams. You think I'd be surprised? Yeah, I might be. But it wouldn't make me feel any better about doing it. <laughs> you wanna see chair in a hot tub? There you go, okay. When Rand gets it, he should celebrate by taking a good rest and sleep on stream. <laughs> I won! Oh, I can finally rest. It's been 87 years. It's going to be that meme. I'm a bard. There's no concern of attraction. True, true. Just use my charming charm skills to charm chat. With my charming charmingness. Okay, no weapons. Do I care about a clone bay? Sure. It's a little bit win more, but we are far enough ahead that we can win more with that. All right, let's go towards the weapon, which we can just do. Let's have that online. Um, something like this, I guess. Hot Tub Stream while playing FTL Aquatic Mod levels from RPG. <laughs> I will be cosplaying and role-playing as an aquatic race from RPGs mod. What a great idea. Alright, well 100% we're dying, dying, diving here, so 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, something like that. You need to charm Twitch by winning a 99 skill check, yeah. If I want to hit partner, sounds about right. Sounds about right. That is a triple ion build. Okay, well, with a missile, what a build. Me when five slash th six things the store is trying to sell is straight out. Okay. I want to play FTL while relaxing in a hot tub. I mean, it could be fun. Problem is, I don't know how to get a hot tub into my uh, apartment without, you know, flooding my apartment. Also, hot tub streams are not my thing. I don't, I don't know why... I guess it's just the meme on Twitch to talk about hot tub streams now. It's just the meme. Okay, let's cloak the bomb. Cloak that. Beautiful. No full bathroom in my apartment? No, no, it's just a shower. I mean it's it's a it's a bathtub, but it's not a It doesn't have like jets and a round nice layout that I can just lounge in. <laughs> Is that what people do? Do they sit in their bathtub and stream? I thought they got like some, you know uh, you know, expensive indoor sauna 
hot tub thingy. I don't know. 99% of the time, it's not a hot tub. It's an inflatable baby pool with one inch of water in it. Okay, all right. That's kind of what I thought it was. Can I go one, two, three, four, five, six? That would be a dive. But if I go through here, does that become safe on five? Eh, let's not take a chance. Don't need to take any chances here. We're far. We're ready for the boss. One, two, three, four, dive. Yeah. Man, you want that partner? Better strip, get in the hot tub, show your bajuba jubes. Yeah, yeah. Let me just go ahead and get right on that. Uh, can enemies have level three hacking? Uh, I think so. I'll take an automated reloader. Oh, the flak replaced the chain laser. All right, it's honestly probably a sli side grade. Oh, fire beam too. Hmm. Fire beam compared to fire bomb for the boss fight. Why not both? Why not both? Black flak fire bomb fire beam. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is getting meme tastic, but our build's so strong, I feel like we can do it. Can I, uh, let's see. You've never watched them. You wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. I've, I would never watch something with scantily clad or unclothed women on the internet. I'd never do that. Who would do that? Oh my gosh. I watch FTLs, please. I'm trying to make up for the uh, run. Was it yesterday when I didn't get the firebomb? Trying to make up for it. Ran going hard on fires. You thought this day would never come. Only thing missing is the anti-bio beam. Who would ever watch something like that on the internet? Nobody I know. No, no. No, nobody would do such a thing. 8,000... 80,000 viewers on Twitch disagree with this statement. Probably... Just kill this guy and take his fuel. Kill this guy, take his fuel. Soon, once we get the 28 streak, it'll be time to do the 300 extreme hard multiverse streak, Kappa. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. Unbelievably, I watch FTL. It's not watching FTL right now. Yeah, apparently, I watch FTL said it. He's going to think he was going out of town this week or something. Maybe some people are there to hear what they have to say. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what they're doing. It's to have a good political discussion about gaming mechanics and gaming politics in Mass Effect 3 in the hot tub with their bikinis on. Probably the discussion they're talking about. The politics of Mass Effect 3's um, you know, politics. The politics of the politics. How did you dodge everything? What? Nice. Get one shot. Oh, they're talking about the last Jedi. <laughs> that's what. No, that's what we would do if we had a hot tub stream. We would be like, dude, Ryan Johnson doesn't know what he's doing. Thinking with this Johnson again. God, Ryan Johnson. Get in the hot tub and think again. Uh, do I care about a store? No, we got everything we want in this sector. Uh, you have actually had political discussions in saunas, but you're also insane. Well, I would say a sauna is different than a Twitch um, hot tub stream. <laughs> Probably. For discussions. Um, so do I need to change my weapon power or max on weapon power? So it's all value points now. All value points. Uh, first thing Rand does after sacrificing hundreds of hours to this game, finish the streak, let's play more ST FTL, yeah. Last Jedi hate stream when? As soon as I get that sauna, we'll get it started. Wait, we don't even need a sauna to have that stream. Ruin Johnson. <laughs> The worst thing you want to ruin, too. Uh, are those tears or hot tub water? 
That would be more da- what would be more dangerous, getting into a hot tub with a Zeltan or an NG? Well, since a Zeltan is basically radioactive and power, I would say probably the Zeltan. Theoretically, you could do a Twitch stream from Asana if they were really, really permissive. Rand, send PayPal. You're going to buy me a hot tub. <laughs> it's right below the stream. PayPal's below the stream. I wouldn't be a real streamer if I didn't have a way for you to donate. <laughs> Uh, what are we doing here? Um, the dum dum dum. All the value points. That's all we're doing. First volley damage of this build is nuts. Probably be the safest place to be with a Zeldin in a bathtub. <laughs> what? All right, where am I going? Value next. Let's go to the. Let's go sensors, and I want all the. I want all the value points. I need all of them. I don't know if I'm going to get enough jumps to get all of them, though. Partner can wait. We need to debate Last Jedi in a hot tub. Well, thank you for no free hole damage. Damn it. I wanted more scrap. All right. Phase one. This. And we need the fire weapons to stay online, so we put in this order. So 4-3 will be flak flak, fire beam... Be two firebomb one. We hack. Do we hack shields with this fire beam crew kill attempt? I think we do. Bonus points if you can get Adam Driver to join you in the hot tub for that stream. <laughs> Adam Driver. <laughs> uh, have I seen the NPC steams? I don't know what an NPC steam is. That's supposed to say stream. Are you talking about the people who use uh, what are that? What, is, what are the what are they called? Avatar, where they use the avatars to stream with. I've seen one or two of those. My friend Tim thinks those are hilarious. This build is just a meme. Well, it's going to be a very fire beam lit meme soon. So I don't need to ha I don't need to cloak the first missile. I think. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we don't. What the hell? <laughs> what does he hack? That's a great hack for us. Oh, fucking hell, I completely screwed up the This is why I don't like fucking multi-beam builds. I didn't even fucking hit, man. Okay, we got a fire there. Freaking screwed that shit up, man. There, there we get our fires. Effing screwed, screwed that crap up, man. All right, there's some fires at least. Frickin' screwed it up. Trying to meme and I'm screwing up my meme. Alright, well, the, the missiles are down at least. Set the heal bay on fire. Mind control that guy. Alright, we want to leave one crew still alive is the ultimate goal here. If that guy dies, that should be done, right? There we go. That's it. Well, those fires do a good job doing crew kills. Um, I need you to not die in a fire, sir. Perfect. All right, two damage from my... Well, I don't know. Even if I hadn't messed that up, I probably took the missiles. But, okay, a little salty there. But successful fire crew kill phase one was successful. I should watch an NPC stream. It'll make you consider your faith in humanity. Okay. This mod has those weapon rooms connected. It's not a mod, M Pain Train. This is hard mode. Please don't say we're modding to get my hard mode no pod streak in. This is not a mod. This is vanilla FTL, and that's just playing in hard difficulty. You've never played hard mode? Okay. Uh, that guy by himself put out 35 flyers and lived happily ever after. You can barely beat easy. Okay. Well, I'm just, if you say mod, people are going to go, oh no, this isn't vanilla FTL. So it doesn't even count towards the streak. That's why I'm like being defensive here. <laughs> we do have mods, but they're all cosmetic. We do not use mods when we're playing hard mod no pause, except cosmetic mods. Mind control you. 
no missiles. Beautiful. And we cloak. The overcharge. Right now. All right. Does that get me level 202? It does. Is that what I want to get for my last upgrade? Yes. Do this without them venting. Cool. Yes, those those rooms are connected in hard mode so that you can't board for free and missiles and have them be broken every single phase. Um, although using hacking and other tools, we often will do that to get the missile offline, but it is another way that hard mode is more punishing and terrifying and mean than the lower difficulties. Reject electricity, return to fire. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to do another run to cruise, honestly, even if my hands aren't feeling great. Uh, what I might do is, yeah, I, I've been ending early a lot, and I just feel like I should do another run. It's just too early to end. Seriously enough, the flagship constructor has the rooms connected, even if it's not hard. Ah, yes. I should play easy mode sometime. We did do an, uh, an extra run on easy mode one day. In the last couple of weeks, so we've done that. What the hell? Good dodges, man. Good freaking dodges. Perfect timing. Be a beautiful timing. Damn, didn't get the missile down. Does he never get through a resultant shield? That would am be amazing if I finished this fight without him getting through a resultant shield. Oh, one off! Got him! GG cookie time! Zoltan B, not the C, but really good Zoltan B run. Now that I've had two good runs, we're going to end the day with a terrible run that's going to end my shriek, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, four in a row. Four... In a row, and none of the ships have been ridiculously weak that we fought yet. Let's check that score. 5308. That's about a thousand less than our previous one, uh, previous uh, run today. Hmm. That NG2 was pretty bad, but yeah, these starting weapons were pretty decent. We got that free extra Ion Blast Mark 1. Overconfidence, something, something. Yeah, yeah. Well. FTL is really good at reminding me of when I'm too overconfident since it kicks my ass all the time. Halberd really p helped. I, I did put it at the top of my weapon tier list for a reason. Such a freaking good weapon. Alrighty, we're going to do one more run. So I'm going to take a quick break so we hopefully don't go too crazy long. But feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack. When we come back, we'll play one more run and see if we can keep the streak alive or die in a fire. My, vo my, my boat's on dying in a fire. See you in a bit, my friends.